What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I want to share with you a uh, hinderer knife, a, a DLT trading exclusive hinderer knife that came out and I didn't cover it uh, as timely as I wanted to and I was afraid that going back I would find that there weren't many available and it turns out there are still a bunch available and I think that's just because it was following the release of a super popular version of it that I did cover. And uh, that version was the XM18 3.5 inch no toil slicer in the standard thickness. But what came out shortly after that was the XM18 3.5 inch M390 skinny no toil slicer. I've covered this knife. I've actually talked about this knife on my channel before. You can go back and look for reference. I said this for somebody who's new to hinderer knives and is interested in spending a little bit more money, but expects, you know, accentuated slicing performance, better slicing geometry, right? Expects all the elements that, uh, you know, we, we've come to expect in today's modern knife world. This is probably the version that's really gonna appeal to people, right? That's not to say that the slicing geometry, the standard thickness one isn't good, but this guy by default is gonna be better because it's only 145 thousandths on the spine as opposed to the 165 thousandths on the spine that is the standard thickness three and a half inch right on top of that you get the slicer grind it is definitely thin behind the edge but you still get to enjoy all of those all of that robustness that comes with an xm18 we're going to be taking a look at a few of these this isn't going to be a super long video i just wanted to bring you guys uh you know to, to be aware of this i will be linking this exact page down in the description where you guys can take a look at this entire page yourself on DLT Trading, which is where we are right here. They have an excellent website. And then I'll also be linking the XM18 three and a half inch skinny slicer so you can go right to that page and check it out. I do have an affiliate program with DLT Trading. What does that mean? It means if you use the links, it benefits my channel. DLT Trading did not ask me to do this video. They don't control this content. This content is mine and I do it because I know that there's a lot of hinder fans out there and I'm a hinder fan, so this is interesting to me. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon, there is a link down in the description. All right. Um, so we've got a bunch of them still left. In fact, there's only two variants that have come out here that are out of stock. Curiously, the OD Green and Stonewashed, and then more understandably, in my opinion, the, um, the Two-Tone. You're going to pay an extra 25 bucks for the Two-Tone. We'll take a look at that, actually. Let's take a look at the Two-Tone one right here. This is nice. They do kind of a combination of satin. It looks like satin and then their working finish. It's kind of nice, especially people considering, you know, buying this so they can customize it. If you like all those contrasting reflectivities and then you want to add some custom hardware in there, it's really going to make it flashy. Um, this is nice to me. This is, uh, this is a good looking version of the Hinder Knife. Let me give you guys a look at the, the you know, the skinniness of this. So it's kind of hard to tell without putting it up against a, uh, a standard thickness XM18, but the blade stock is thinner at 145 thousandths, but the reason it might not look as thin as I'm suggesting is because on this version, the titanium and liner and G10 scales are also thinner, making it that much easier to carry. And yes, it does weigh a little bit less too. So if that's important to you, then this is something that you can expect from this knife. It's also important to remember that because the scales are thinner, these have their own scales. So if you're gonna pick up a custom scale for one of these, you have to look for the skinny XM18 three and a half inch scale. The handle nuts and the screws, which I'll show right here, are actually also unique. I don't know about the pivot. The pivot might have its own. I feel like the pivots are universal, but yeah, make sure that you're picking up skinny specific hardware. Stuff like the pocket clip, and the, the LBS and the filler tab, it's all gonna be universal as far as the XM18s go, whether it's the 24, the three and a half inch or the three inch, right? But yeah, everything else is gonna be thinner. Um, I've handled this and I was worried that, you know, before I got it in hand, I was like, oh, if it's going to be skinny, it's going to take away what I appreciate about hinder knives, which is that robust feeling. But no, it is thinner and it is lighter, but it still feels good. It still feels solid. It locks up just as hard, right? You just get to enjoy lighter weight, a thinner profile, and definitely better cutting geometry. All hinderers cut. Some blade shapes cut better than others, some profiles, right? But when you're combining Hinderer's best slicing grind, the, the slicer grind, with a thinner geometry overall, it's going to win. This is the best slicer, period, as far as the Hinderer line goes. The, uh, the three inch is going to be about the same, but I don't think that those are actually available right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the three and a half inch, you know, if it's not legal in your area, then obviously it's going to be a problem. But they've got, I'll, I'll give you guys a look at a stonewashed one. 
Um, so they've got these all stone washed, which is always my preference. And then, so your handle scale is going to be stone washed. The blade is going to be stone washed. In this case, we've got red, which I always think, think looks nice. Um, this is very similar to the exact one that I handled. Um, but, uh, yeah, and it comes with a triway pivot system. We'll highlight that here in just a second. Let's look at one that's all working finish. How about this black one right here? Um, the, uh, yeah, it does come with the triway pivot system. So you've got that same deal where you can swap out the bearings with the phosphor bronze or the nylon, depending on your preferences or perhaps your work setting, right? Um, it all comes with it. So that's great. It's easy to disassemble. Working finish has more of a concrete all the way down, and then it also extends to the frame. Uh, something I like about the working finish is that the polished hardware really seems to contrast well. You can get working finished hardware if you want to. You're not going to be able to switch out the... Um, lock bar stabilizer screw uh the pivot barrel the pivot the pivot itself you can switch out but not the pivot barrel or the thumb stuff so those are still going to be shiny but if you want to get everything all working finished you can or black or green or copper or brass or bronze or blue or purple right they've got a million different ones um another thing that i want to do is just go through real quick and highlight the others just all the XM18 three and a half inches that are available. So if you click on XM18 three and a half inch right here, it's going to show everything that they have. Uh, it, that is a three and a half inch. That's DLT exclusives mixed with standard ones that are available on other retailers. And the reason I wanted to highlight this is I'm always talking about the ridiculous amount of different hinderers that are available. I know you guys want me to click on stuff, but I'm trying to slowly scroll so you can see how many different options there. Are. This is why. This is why I go to DLT trading. That's attractive right there. The no troll spanto and black DLC and blue. <laughs> I'm really starting to come around to the idea of, of the darker blades. We've got the battle black, which is a tumbled black DLC, right? Um, but uh, this this is serving as an example of how many different versions of the XM18 are always available at, at uh, DLT. They not once in all the years that I've come to DLT trading have they just been out of the XM18 three and a half inch. It's just never been the case. This page is just specifically dedicated to XM18s uh, via, you know, just like the, the 20, well, up here it's gonna be XM18s, XM18 three and a half inch, uh, 24s and three inch, right? And then they also carry, They've. it looks like perhaps they've got some 24 skinnies, I don't know that for sure, but Eclipse, Fire Track, Full Track, Half Track, right? Some of this stuff is gonna be out of stock, but you can see here how many different models DLT actually carries and and readily keeps in stock and they'll you know they'll tell you you go to the page whether it's in or out of stock you know sometimes it can be confusing but um yeah they have a healthy supply of this stuff so if you're looking for a specific hinder or a specific blade shape right definitely check out DLT but specifically if you're look if you've been waiting for the XM18 three and a half inch uh, skinny slicer uh, no choil. Uh, this is the only place that you can get it and once they're gone it's going to be a bit if ever that they come back I'm assuming they will but you know it this I'm not trying to be like you should buy it right now because you're going to miss out right I'm just saying if you've been waiting for this it's available now and once they're gone it's going to be a while before they they come back so anyways short video today but I really wanted to talk about this and bring this to the attention of people who are trying to get one so Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you pick something up, let me know down in the comments section. I always like to hear that. If uh, you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.